Is Labour ready for government? It's a really important question to ask because, let's be blunt, I'm not sure they are. Labour has utterly failed to convince anyone over the last couple of years it's about anything in particular. We know it's against certain things, trade unions, extra spending, funding the NHS. It's against the provision of proper benefits to people. It won't end the two-child benefit cap, for example. We know that it's pro-austerity. We don't know what it's for. So what is Labour going to do on the day after it wins the 2024 general election, which pretty much everybody thinks they're going to do? They should by now have a plan for government, because after all, they are only months away from walking into all the departments of government in the UK, installing a Labour minister in that department who says, hello, I'm in charge, this is what we're going to do, except they don't have that list in their possession, as far as I'm aware. If they were competent, and I'm questioning that, they would by now know what they were going to do in every government department. They would know it so well that every single shadow minister would be able to talk about it because they would have an agenda for change. And if they weren't running around like dazed rabbits in the headlights that are coming towards them, which is what they still think they are, when in practice there is no electoral disaster coming at their way this time, and instead they were actually planning for the absolute certainty of government, which they should be thinking they are, then they would have that plan for government in place. But they haven't. And I'm wondering why. And the biggest concern I have is that Rachel Reeves, who drives the intellect of the Labour Party at present, because as far as I can see, Keir Starmer doesn't have many ideas of his own, she appears to be completely dedicated to maintaining the status quo. She wants to maintain the Bank of England. She wants to maintain the Office for Budget Responsibility. She's looked on taxation to past heads of HM Revenue and Customs to tell her what to do. In the banking world, she's getting a cohort of people together, all of whom are establishment figures. There's no sign that she wants to change anything. And yet we know that the NHS is failing, social care is changing, the environmental policies of the country are changing, transport isn't working because there's not enough investment in the rail transport system, for example, in the north, and on and on and on. So what is Labour's reaction going to be when everything goes wrong because people rumble the fact that they have no plan? I don't know, but it really scares me because if they cannot manage the reality of office, which is going to be much tougher than they anticipate, we're in deep trouble. And the chance of Labour winning again in 2029 is incredibly low. Think hard, in other words, about what Labour's talking about when it comes to the election. Because right now, I'm not hearing anything of substance.